Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought it would be kind of a cute and fun video to do an everyday get ready with me. I'm gonna show you guys my makeup and an outfit. I wanted to make this video vlog style um, because that's personally my favorite to film, but my bathroom lighting is just a little bit off, so we're just gonna do it on the ground. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with my makeup and then we'll pick out like a cute little outfit for something I would wear on an everyday basis. I don't wear makeup every single day, so when I do wear makeup, it's normally for something or if I'm just feeling like putting myself together. So I'll do a little bit more than just like a tinted moisturizer and mascara, but it still looks super natural, so you can wear this every single day. So the first thing I do every morning is I put sunscreen on it's so important this one's Kylie skin and it has SPF of 30 and it is a sunscreen oil and I like it a lot because you can spray it on I already put this on so check I also have a self tan on so if my skin looks darker than normal sometimes it looks a little bit more smooth when I put self tan on sometimes I wake up like that so that's what's happening okay so I just pulled out powder instead of my moisturizer. So next I like to go in with a moisturizer. Okay, this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This I like because it's like a really crazy, nice and thick base moisturizer. I'm gonna put that on gently and blend up your neck. Rule of thumb, what I do is I start with my cream, move to powder. I haven't, I feel like I haven't done, I know I've been gone for a while, but I feel like I haven't done like a sit down tutorial in so long. Is this boring? I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector. I really like this. This is in the shade Fawn. Because I'm fake tan, I think this might be too light for me. We're going to find out. But if it is, I'm going to mix it in with something a little darker let's just see I don't know if I've used this shade I think that actually kind of works I usually take um, like a brush like this I guess this is an angled blush brush it's by Sephora number 49 I just take the remainder so I don't waste the product and then we're just gonna blend really like Kind of like stipple it in, um, blend a little down the neck. Like this is just the base. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like not like obviously it's our actual base, but it's like the base of blending. Why do I feel like I just said like 400 times in that sentence? I don't know. A damp sponge and just go over. And this just makes it nice and natural. Um, so just an update also. I have a vlog that I'm still working on and filming. It's just not done. So I wanted to get this video or really any video up sooner after my initial video. But I'm not done with it and I'm still just like easing back into it. So thanks for being patient. You guys are awesome. When that's all blended, I like this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade. 2c and i don't really like using too much concealer under my eyes because i don't want it to like build up um, and look kind of cakey with tarte shape tape in the shade light neutral i just do a little bit on top i'm like below just to lighten it and then i'm just gonna highlight with that and if i'm going out actually lately i've been doing it right there My camera's about to die. Ah, I was just charging it all morning. I'm so confused. I'm just going to see how far I can get while this camera's blinking red at me. And then if it dies, I'll just charge it for a little and come back. So once that's pretty much nice and blended, I like to go in with cream contour. This one is Too Faced Born This Way. Again, this is like when I'm really going for it. This is not... I thought it just died. This is not like actually what I do when I wake up every morning because if I'm not doing this I'm not wearing makeup so this is really like the only makeup I do so I just kind of go like that 
kind of just draw around the cheekbone it looks like a lot but if you do like a thin amount it blends out really nice and then i just take like the end of the beauty blender and blend that against the jawline and then up along the cheeks and it helps that you put that concealer there because it like makes it sharp sorry i keep looking in the viewfinder i forget how to do youtube actually let's be real i always looked in the viewfinder and it was so annoying everyone would be like look at the camera dog and i never did once that's blended even if it looks a little orange to you right now i promise when this is all said and done you're gonna be like i forgot she kind of looked like a carrot so that's great i'm gonna go in with my laura mercier translucent powder and this is just to set under my eyes and under my cheekbone so i'm just gonna go like that i don't do like a thick bake but i just under my eyes i mean but right here it doesn't really get cakey so i don't really care i just carve out my cheekbone right there sorry if the angle is a little bit different my camera died as you guys probably expected so i left off on just a little bake and i've left it on and i just take a big powder brush and kind of wipe that away so this is obviously optional but because i powdered i'm still going to be using a cream highlighter so i like to spray my face a little with this urban decay all night makeup setting spray these are just the products i have at my apartment literally all of these things can be substituted for what you already have i'm not saying these are like make or break but if you are looking for a new product like a tinted moisturizer or concealer or something that you need to change because you don't like how your um base is looking I highly recommend these products and if these are out of budget you can always look up this product that I'm using and search online a dupe that's such a weird word but you can search online for anything I'm using a dupe of it and then just use that if you want to save a little money and use drugstore products okay I'm done talking where I spray my face next up I really like this stuff it's the Too Faced You're So Jelly Jelly Highlighter and this one's in the shade Gilded Champagne this right here is completely wet so just use a little bit it's like gel and it comes off kind of strong so I just put it like a scoop on the back of my hand like that because you can always add more but I start with a little just because it's easier to work with and I just put it on the tops of my cheekbone with like my middle finger blend it out a little and then I kind of take a clean finger and just blend it out even more and you really just want to focus on the two lines so the one line there and the one line there if you blend that out those ones it's gonna look seamless add more to your liking and I like to do it a little on my tip of my nose I think it looks nice just like that and then if you have leftover you can take any sort of brush that's kind of like loose bristles not something super dense like and you can put it on your collarbone or kind of just get the remainders so you don't waste any so after that is done I like to go in with this Too Faced bronzer it kind of has a shimmer it's so cute and I just take like a big morphe m527 I love this because it has a sheen to it but it's not sparkly so it just kind of makes you look really glowy and I blend it down my neck and then I'll just take a little bit of blush this one is by Kylie and this one's in the shade we're going shopping the same brush actually and just apply my cheekbones and then I kind of just go like this so it looks sun-kissed even though it's winter I know but I like looking glowy you guys know that already you know and then for my brows I'm just using this little color girl color girl <laughs> I really forget how to do makeup um I'm using this cover girl pencil in the shade soft brown and I have naturally thick brows so I don't really use a lot I'm gonna use this clear brow gel you guys can also get a clear mascara from the drugstore 
I am just gonna do something on my eyes really, really easy. And if you don't know how to do a winged eyeliner, it doesn't matter because after I teach you this trick, you're gonna know how to do a winged eyeliner. I'm just gonna mix like some neutral brown shades. Whatever you got, you can use your bronzer, it doesn't matter. I just go in my crease a little to add depth. Literally, that's all I do. And then just take any sort of like precise brush. It can be angled, it can be flat, it doesn't even matter. And I'm just taking a black. If you wanna do dark brown, if you wanna do blue, whatever works as long as it has enough pigment that it shows up on your eyes and you can always add more as you know. What you're gonna do is just do a really thin line. I wanna make sure you can see. Messy. Just gonna do like a messy line on your lash line. I like doing that first on both sides. So before I do the wing. So once you just have those two lines, you just messy, like just messily put wings on. Like so messy that if you saw me in person, you'd be like, what is that? And then you can kind of just connect it right there. And by the way, this trick I'm about to show you works with gel, liquid, you don't have to do powder. Powder, if you're a beginner, I just find it easier. And I like that it looks a little bit more smoky. So that's basically what it is, right? It's not the best, it's not sharp, which is the hardest part, especially when you're doing powder. Take any sponge you have, it can even be this side, but if you have this, it's affordable, it's from Morphe, and I use it dry. And this is my favorite trick of all time. So what you're gonna do is be gentle because you're in a very sensitive, delicate spot of your face, but you're just gonna drag on that line up really sharp so you get like a crazy sharp line. And then with the other side, make sure it's dry and clean. You're gonna erase, and it doesn't take off your makeup, you just erase the line and you kind of get this sharp little wing there. And then once you have that kind of base, it makes it so much easier to darken it um, and then just clean from there. Like, so much easier. I don't know if you can tell. I'm not in focus. What's happening? But this line is a lot sharper than that. So it's kind of just a trick, kind of like a hack. I just kind of did it one day and I was like, whoa, when I'm back on YouTube, I can't wait to share that. So again, just doing it to the other side. And then also with this trick, if you can kind of shape the wing to make it more even. So if this one's going up more, you're gonna carve up more. If this one, if this one was going out more and I'm trying to even it, you can kind of pull it out and then erase the line. So it's kind of just a little trick to custom your wing to the first one you got right. Because I feel like there's always one wing we kill and then the other one it's like, what happened? So, and now we have even wings and they're very easy. I just rub the rest of the black off on the back of my hand and with like the very remainder, I just very lightly kind of tint my lower lash line. Any smudge brush, you can use um, like a light shade, like a light eyeshadow to diffuse it. Just clean whatever, just kind of blend it out so it's a little bit more smoky and glam. In my opinion, it still looks really just like pretty and like natural, especially because our face, all the products that were used don't make you look cakey, so when you have intense eyes on and a cakey face it's like oh she put makeup on but when you have such a like, clean kind of glowy skin and then you kind of play up your eyes with something that takes like two minutes it just makes the look and then i just use a little lash curler and depending on mascara like ignore that but depending on mascara what you like you can use a thick one or a thin one i just use this little glossier it's very thin so it makes my eyelashes long 
And then do that on the bottom and the top lash. I like creating my own little tinted lip. So I do any like creamy neutral chapstick and like a red pencil or a really dark like kind of sultry like strawberry. And I just do it on the bottom. Kind of overline with it. And then once it mixes with that like chapstick, just becomes like a little cute strawberry natural pink. And then to finish off the makeup, I just set my skin.